Hey friends, tonight I am going out to the park. It's the first time since my mom and sister ended up leaving. They're gone now and I'm feeling a little bit sad, but I'll see them again soon. But I wanted to come back out and I wanted to go to Epcot because I really love the festival of the holidays and I love just walking around World Showcase. But I didn't want to go there just parking at Epcot. I wanted to go in style. So I decided to stop at the Art of Animation and take the Disney Skyliner over to Epcot. Very excited. Let's go do this. I am also very interested in seeing the Christmas decorations here at the Art of Animation. Have not been here since Christmas time. I've actually been to every other resorts. I've been to all of the deluxe resorts, the moderate resorts, all checking out their Christmas decorations this year, but I have not dabbled in the value resorts. So I think Art of Animation, Pop Century, and all of the All-Stars get their share due. Right underneath the Porta Corche, we have these beautiful twinkly sparkling garland. I like it, it's all white. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know It's so crazy how all the different resorts have all different themings for Christmas decorations. I can see that they're going with a nice white traditional Christmas here. And I believe that's the first white garland I've seen on Disney property. Okay, wow, 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 wow. Look at all these wreaths here. They're actually all different colors according to the color scheme. Like that's a green, a dark green, a light green, and then we get yellow and orange. That is awesome. Seriously, that is paying attention to detail right there. I love it. I really, really love it. Look at, and they even have like little tiny illustrations. That must be Simba. And then you got Crush over here. Wow. It seriously has to be one of the most creative ideas I think I've seen when it comes to Christmas decorations. They have all these different colors. Even when we get to the purple side, they have two different colors or two different types of purple. And it kind of just blends with pink and then red and orange. So cool. But now we get to take a look at the actual tree for the Art of Animation. And it is a pretty tree, I can tell you that. It's an all-white Christmas tree with multi-color ornaments. I like it. Wow, that is that just screams class. I like the all-white stuff. It's very nice. It's very pretty. And I like the way that it sparkles. I am kind of interested to see if they have the different areas decorated for Christmas. If you're familiar with the Art of Animation, they have like a Finding Nemo section, a Cars section, a Lion King section, and a Little Mermaid section. So let's check out Radiator Springs area and see if they have any cool nifty decorations over there. I'm really liking the music they're playing here though. <laughs> That's kind of sad. I'm not seeing any Christmas decorations over here in Ornament Valley, which doesn't make much sense because I'm sure the town folk of Radiator Springs celebrate Christmas. Why wouldn't they? I do see some guest rooms actually all decked out and decorated for Christmas. I like that. If I ever came on vacation, I totally would decorate my room and windows with Christmas decorations. Have any of you guys ever decorated your window or room itself for a holiday while you're at Disney World? I think that is so fun. I would totally do it. But like I said, I'm not seeing nothing. Nothing even at the Cozy Cone Motel. Maybe we'll check over by the pool area. Maybe we'll see something like a wreath or just a Christmas tree. Anything? Nothing. Wow. They have so much potential to do really nifty things over here. Oh well, maybe we'll stop over to Pop Century and see if they have any Christmas decorations out. Since the Disney Skyliner is actually in between the Art of Animation and Pop Century, it makes sense to just stop over there and take a quick look-see, eh? Well, look at that. They have some Christmas decorations in the big blue pool. And they are actually fishy themed. That is awesome. I like it. It's really cute. They've got stingrays, starfish, regular fish, little tiny jellyfish. Very nifty. Nemo swimming out the sea. 
and there it is the Disney Skyliner we'll stop back over here but since we're over here we might as well just take a gander at Pop Century since we're right there it's literally like 10 feet I think that that's one of the coolest things about Pop Century and Art of Animation. When you stay at either one of them, you're kind of like staying at two resorts. They're only about a two minute walk from each other. They're actually doing movies under the stars over here at Pop Century. And it's actually the elves from the Jingle Bell Jingle Bam show at Hollywood Studios. I didn't even know they had their own movie. Wow. <laughs> Baloo. And Pop. We are here. As I'm walking up, I can already tell that they fancy the multicolor lights. And you know how I feel about those multicolor lights. I like them a real lot. Just take a look at that. Ho ho ho, yeah. They have a much bigger tree over here at Pop Century than they do at Art of Animation. And so many lights. Lots of gingerbread ornaments though I see. It is a very, very pretty tree. Look at that. Little Frosty and Mrs. Frosty. Some Santa Claus. Oh, these are records. Huh, that's kind of nifty. Definitely a bigger tree, but let me know in the comments, which tree do you like better? The all white with the little bit of color ornaments actually at Art of Manivation? Or do you like the multicolor huge tree at Pop Century? They also have these like kind of like stripped garland that's going down the post of the lobby. But honestly, that does not compare anything at all to the art of animation and their multicolor wreaths. I'm still very happy that I came over here though because this tree is actually very pretty to look at. All the way up. And that's a kind of cool thing. They're actually doing ornament painting by the pool. It's $35, and I guess that includes your ornament. That's awesome. I think that's very nifty of them to do. It was totally worth the extra two minutes of walking to actually come over here and check out things. So now let's head back on over to the Disney Skyliner and head over to Epcot. Pop Century is an amazing resort and actually I stayed here on my honeymoon and it was fantastic so it always holds a special place in my heart it reminds me of good times back in the day it was such a great time to come here vacation I remember I ate sausage actually the whole entire vacation just to save up I used to buy like dollar sausages and then buy like one slice of white bread and put the sausage on the bread and eat it just so I could afford the vacation and here we are, time to load. My mom was so scared when she rode this for the first time. Like she was panicking, holding on for dear life. Oh, I'm like eyeing up which one I'm gonna get. Oh, I hope I get the Toy Story one. I want the Toy Story one. Oh, look at that. Look at little bullseye. I got it, look at that. <laughs> yes. And here we are inside the gondola. I'm all by myself. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner. And Thank you. Pop Century. I kind of have a confession. This is the first time I've ever ridden the Skyliner by myself. And it kind of feels a little strange. Oh boy. We're flying into the Caribbean Beach Station. Now we have to transfer over to Epcot. Wow. Things are crazy over here. Look at the line to actually get on the Epcot gondola. That wasn't bad at all, like a five minute wait. Now take me to Epcot. Hurry back, hurry back. Home to a collection of tropical villages inspired by the colorful architecture and lifestyle. Pretty the reflection. Mm. And welcome to Epcot. That was a delightful ride. It only took about 15 minutes to get from Pop over to Epcot. I loved it. I loved every minute of it. And welcome to Epcot. I think I said that twice, but it's okay because it is Epcot. I didn't have much of a plan of what I was going to do when I got to Epcot, but I'm here now, so I guess we'll just explore together. I like the Christmas music though. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 It is a very busy Epcot, I can tell you that. Wow, there's a lot of people here today. 
but it is a Friday night and I've learned to understand that weekends are a lot busy at Disney. I really never come to the parks on the weekends. I can see why. One thing I did want to check out in Epcot was the race against the sun in the Morocco Pavilion. This is fairly new and I haven't been over to check it out since it opened. And here it is, Rally of the Gazelles, a woman's off-road race. And basically it's like a race through the desert, kind of like simulator. Oh, I'm excited to try it out. You kind of sit in here. You don't actually press any pedals. The pedals don't go down and they kind of don't steer. <laughs> it does it on its own. So you're not really doing anything. It does smell nice though. It smells like tangerines in here. The sea vibrates though. That's kind of cool. But that's about it. Just the vibrating seat. Ooh, as we walk out, we see that they have the photo pass for that multicolor lamp. And I'm definitely interested in a neat photo. Look at this thing, it's very nifty. And you get a little photo backdrop, I like it a lot. I like the nifty photo opportunity, but I feel like the race against the sun could have used a little bit more user control. Like, they should let you steer and press the pedals and accelerate, but I mean, beggars can't be choosers. And wow, I think the line for the candlelight processional is all the way back here in Japan. That is probably the longest I've ever seen it in person. Who's even doing the narration tonight? Wow, what a turnout. It's actually Gary Sinise tonight. And if you're not sure who Gary Sinise is, he's Lieutenant Dan in Forrest Gump and also in a lot of other movies, but also he used to be in the pre-show for Mission Space here before they actually did the renovation on it. And recently in the news, Gary Sinise actually took a thousand kids from fallen soldiers to a free Disney World vacation. His foundation did that. I think that was fantastic. And I've seen a lot of people running around with the backpacks from that. And seriously, it melts my heart that he did that. People around the world mark this joyful season with heartfelt sentiment. As we each treasure our unique holiday traditions of family, faith and culture. Well guys, this is way busier than I anticipated at Epcot tonight. Like you cannot go anywhere. You can't even get in line without having like at least a 15, 20 minute wait. Like tonight is super busy. So I think I'm gonna call it a night. Probably just head back over to the resort. I came over here, checked out the new Moroccan pavilion, went over and I thought I was gonna be able to get a look at the candlelight procession. I couldn't even get up close. Like, it was so far backed up. Gary Sinise might have pulled in a bigger crowd than Neil Patrick Harris. That's like, wow. So, love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye.